Hey guys, Guitar Guts back with you. Today's question, are the humbuckers on your Sterling or Music Man bass set too high? Are they ruining your tone? Stick with me today and I'll show you how to check that and how to fix it if they are. I remember that I got one of these basses years ago um, and I had it all set up to my liking. I had the truss rod checked, I had checked the string height, started playing it and I thought it sounded pretty good. Um, and then I um, went and checked the setup specs from the Sterling website, and it said that the pickups were supposed to be way further away from the strings than I thought they should be. So I thought, well, they don't know what they're talking about because I've been working on, you know, guitar humbuckers for years, and they should be about 564ths or 664ths away from the string. So I cranked them up under the strings like that, and it just turned the bass into this awful, muddy, boomy mess. And I, I know it's a bass, but boomy in a bad way. And so um, I cranked them back down where they said they were supposed to be, and that beautiful, clear, throaty goodness came back out in the bass. So that taught me that uh, they were right and I was wrong about where these pickups need to be set. So let me show you how to check those on yours to make sure that you are not ruining your tone by having those set too close to the strings. I've got two more of these. Just bought this bass a little while back, and I've had another one since. And the second one I had... The strings were probably twice as high as they should have been. This one, by the time I got the string action set where I like it, those pickups were three times higher than they should have been. It's the first five-string bass I've ever had. And again, I was sitting there playing it for a few minutes and thinking, oh, man, this is just an uncontrollable, boomy, muddy mess until I remembered, oh, yeah, i got to check that pickup height. And they were three times as high as they should have been on this bass, and it was absolutely murdering the tone. So <clears throat> let me show you how to check those heights. Uh, if you've got the single pickup version of this guitar, the specs are different. If you've got the single humbucker, the, the pickup should be set 12 64ths away from the string. Now, Music Man goes about this a little bit differently than other companies do. They do not measure from the pole piece, the metal circle here in the middle. They measure from the flat plastic. So from that flat plastic top to the bottom of the string should be 12 64ths away. That's the same as saying 3 16ths of an inch, same as saying 4.76 millimeters if you want to measure it that way. So that's for a single pickup guitar. And the 12 64ths, as far as I can tell from their website, is for both sides, treble and bass. And then you should use these two adjustment screws on this side to level the humbucker out so it's sitting parallel to the guitar's body. Now, if you've got the dual humbucker ver version, like the one I've got here, <clears throat> they try to compensate a little bit for the extra magnet pull of that second humbucker so that you don't lose too much sustain. And they say that you should set the pickups 1664 away from the string. And again, they're measuring from the plastic top to the bottom of the string. That 1664 is equivalent to one fourth of an inch, and it's also 6.35 millimeters if you want to measure it that way. And again, with both pickups, you should use the screws on this side to level the humbucker out until it sits flat with the body of the guitar, which I also thought was a little strange because I would think that I would want to level it up with the string and not the guitar body. But since I was wrong about the pickup height, I'm gonna trust them on that too. And I'm going to set that flat with the body like it says too. So check that out. Make sure that your um, humbuckers are set correct. Bring out that clear throaty goodness that these things are known for. Uh, and don't be playing a muddy mess. Hope that helped. And we'll talk to you again later. See ya.